Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to be doing my best of Milani. So I did this video probably like two years ago, close to two years ago now. And um, I kind of, this is like what kickstarted my like brand's best kind of series here where I go through brands and I take my top 10 products. And I like to do 10 because it really does kind of limit me. So I have to pick like my favorite favorite, favorite products. Because honestly, like, and Milani is one of these brands that I would pick like 12, 15 products if I could, but it really gets me to think about what are like my all time favorites. But again, like I've done these videos and Milani is one that I did almost two years ago now. So there are so many new releases and just so many new products out. And even products that came out close to a year ago that I didn't talk about in that first video. So this is kind of like another round of that. Um, I'll link the first one that I did down below. Like I said, that was almost two years ago now. So, um, but these products, like this was hard, you guys. I love Milani so much. They have such a good range of products. And I do really feel like they are a drugstore brand that gets inclusivity right. They do have, offer like a lot of foundation shades and they always kind of have, I feel like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still like a little sick, but I feel like Milani has always been one of those brands that's done a really beautiful job of including everyone of all skin tones. And that has just continued over the years. And now that they are, you know, in Ulta and they're more just kind of mainstream for a long time, all I could find or the only place I could find Milani around me was at CVS. And now, like I said, they're on Ulta's website. They're at Ulta stores. I can find them a lot at Walmart stores near me. So it's just, they have so many products, a lot of really, really good things. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice. I will leave a couple products down below that are more like honorable mentions that I did not get in my top 10, but that were maybe like 11, 12, 13. You know what I mean? Um, cause I do, I love so many of these products. And one of you actually requested for me to do a full face of Milani, uh, for like a one brand tutorial. So I'm going to be working on that. That will be coming your way in the coming weeks. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and jump in to the top 10. We're going to go ahead and start off with the face products. So the first thing I want to talk about is their concealer. So this is their new concealer. It's the Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer. I do have the shade 110 Nude Ivory. You guys, this is so good. Oh my goodness, I love this product. So it does have like a flat kind of paddle style doe foot. A lot of product comes out on the doe foot. So I actually, when I pull the product out, this is all I use for under my eyes. I don't dip back in ever. Um, it's a very thin kind of gel-like consistency but it covers so well. So it is what I'm wearing today and I don't have on any kind of peach corrector. And what I love about this is that it does offer that coverage, but it looks so skin-like and it feels so skin-like. It doesn't feel like a really heavy, thick concealer. I love the e.l.f. 16 hour wear camo concealer. Um, I showed that in my e.l.f. you know, brand, one brand tutorial. And I love that concealer, but you can definitely feel feel that on your skin. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, like there's a time and a place for that. But for every day, this is so nice because it does offer that coverage, but it feels so skin like and it looks so skin like, you know, it doesn't look like very sculpted and matte and like, just like just a sheet of makeup on your skin. It just looks so beautiful and healthy and natural yet it still offers really good coverage and I just I love the consistency of this it just and like the formula of it it's just that like gel like kind of thin yet it's not like super creamy but it's more like lightweight it just is so good so I have been obsessed with this ever since I used it or ever since I bought it and I have just not put it down because it's just that amazing. The next face product is one of my holy grail makeup products, like holy grail, holy grail, holy grail status. And it is their um, Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. Whew. Okay, you guys. So this is the shade 02 Nude. It does come with a little bit of a, with a puff, um, like a little spongy puff. And then this is just the powder. But I, I can wear the shade 02, 03, 01. I kind of just there, it's not like that big of a difference in between the shades for me. But what I love about this is how perfected it makes my skin look. Like I wore a foundation today. Like I put my foundation on and I have, it's a new one that I'm trying. Well, okay. 
let me just real quick it's the catrice hd liquid i tried this like a long time ago and i didn't like it but then everyone kind of started raving about it so i bought it again to try it again and i actually liked it today but anyway so i put that on and you know you can still kind of see some things peeking through well then i put this on and it was just like airbrush like it was so so beautiful and it offers just a little bit more coverage it mattifies the skin without it looking cakey it really does just airbrush your skin it is amazing it does say that it stays shine free um, it's a comfortable feel totally agree with that it's so comfortable uh, buildable coverage yes you can definitely build it up if you need a little bit more coverage especially with that spongy puff that it comes with if you use a brush, it'll just kind of set your look, but if you want a more like powder foundation type of look, use this and it definitely will build it up. It's mattifying, it has bamboo powder that absorbs oil, but again, it doesn't look cakey on the skin and that is what I love. I love a good powder that like makes me look airbrushed and adds some coverage and mattifies without it looking cakey. And this does it, it is amazing. A new product from them that I have been loving is their Silky Matte Bronzer. So I have the shade 01 Sunlight, and it's a matte bronzer. It's what I have on today. What I love about this particular product is, one, the formula, because it's not overly powdery. Like, I'll, like, swatch it like this and see, like, there's no powder kick up, but you can definitely, like, see it, right? Like, it's, but it's not, like, Fallout City. It's not overly powdery and overly pigmented. I don't love overly pigmented bronzers because I don't like to be super careful. I'm not that person that's like, like really wanting to be per like careful and particular every day. I just want to be able to take my bronzer brush in the morning when I'm getting ready, throw it in there, throw it on, and I'm good. You know what I mean? And this, you can totally do that. And I also love this shade because of the tone. I've talked about this bronzer a lot here on my channel and about the tone of it because it is so neutral it's not too cool to where it looks gray and ashy and can only be used as a contour but it also does not look too warm to where it's like yellow gold or even red and so you can't use it as a contour it's like that beautiful neutral tone that can be used as a contour or as a bronzer so today I did take a bigger brush and I hit kind of the my forehead and stuff to bronze and then I took a more like smaller brush to contour the cheeks and I feel like it added some more like dimension and a little bit of cheekbones into my life but it doesn't look overly warm and so I just I love the tone of this and I think the formula is just outstanding so I've been very into like cream cheek products lately and highlighters are kind of hit and miss for me because I feel like sometimes with cream highlights they can move the foundation underneath if they're too like stiff or if they're too oily based they can really kind of break up the foundation to where you really notice the difference and it's just not cute but this one it's so good. So this is the strobe light liquid highlighter. This is the shade day glow. Oh my goodness. It's the highlight I have on today and I feel like it just looks so healthy, so youthful. I love this shade because it's like that champagne kind of color to where it blends into my skin tone very seamlessly. So it does look more natural on my skin. It just kind of looks like, like it's my skin tone. It's just shimmery. You know what I mean? And so that's why I love this one. And the formula is so nice. A little bit goes a very long way. I just tap it in with my fingers, but I also have used like a small stipple brush for it. Um, even like the highlight brush from e.l.f. I've used, it looks beautiful that way. Just you can really work this product in a lot of different ways, which I love. And it's thick, but it's not too thick. And it's definitely not oily at all. So it doesn't break up the foundation and make it look like different textures or like you don't have foundation there anymore or anything like that. And it just sits on top of the skin so beautifully and it blends over powders really well. I am not that person that's like, oh, you can't put creams over powders. Like, I just don't care that much and it looks fine. So it, like, I don't notice a difference the other way either. So I always just put this over after like I set my face with powder and it looks fine. And I just think it looks so gorgeous and the shimmer is so beautiful because it's not glittery or chunky or anything like that. It really does give you that like lit from within glow that is so, so beautiful. The last base product I want to talk about is going to be no surprise. And I did talk about this in the original Vest uh, Milani video I did like two years ago. 
and it's the Make It Last Setting Spray. Just the original. I know they have a matte one now, and I know they have a dewy one, but I just, I love the original one. The matte one I've tried, and it's great, but I don't notice that it keeps me any more matte than this one does, and I can't even tell you how many of these I have purchased, you guys. Like, this is probably like my fifth or sixth bottle of it. I am just obsessed. It is the best setting, like spray, I almost said setting powder. It's the best setting spray at the drugstore. Not even, well, hmm, hmm. I, this does compete with like my Urban Decay All Nighter. Like that's for like special occasions. If I want my makeup to stay on like glue, I go for that. But like every day, this is amazing. And it does, it keeps my makeup on all day. It smells so fresh and it like, feels so good on the skin. The spritzer is nice. It doesn't spritz out real weird or anything like that. And it's just amazing. Like this stuff, I was obsessed when it came out and I have continued to be obsessed with it. It's just so good. All right, let's move on to eyes. And so the first thing I want to chat about for eyes is actually a brush set. So this is their Jet Setter Eye Brush Set. And you get three brushes. And this brush set, you guys, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this might be the only thing you ever need for eyes. And that's saying a lot. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I use other brushes, but you could just like, I would just travel with this set and be fine. Actually, I have traveled with this set and been fine. So this you get is like a flat kind of really um, like wide shader brush. And so this is great for packing shadow all over the lid. You get a really good sized crease brush. It's not too big and it's not too thin to where you can really kind of buff shades in or you can really just concentrate it and it gives you a nice concentrated look. And then you get a really like nice kind of, um, I would say like medium sized smudger brush. Like it's not really tiny and it's not a pencil brush, but it's definitely smaller and you can use this for like really small detailed crease work. You can, I use this all the time to smudge out my lower lash line. You can even use this to highlight the inner corner. So I just feel like this little brush set one is such good quality because these I have washed so many times and they still continue to hold up. But also they're so versatile. Like this brush you can do, like I said, so many different things with this. You could do like brow bone highlight packing all over the lid. You could do like even like a cut crease with this. This crease brush is a really great size. And so I feel like drugstore brushes too, like I feel like they're obviously like coming in hot way more than they ever were before, you know, with like Wet n Wild and Elf and Real Techniques and Eco Tools. Like I just feel like a lot of brands are doing brushes now. But Milani does make some of really, really good brushes. And I have a couple face brushes too that I really enjoy. But this little eye set I had to put in this video because, again, like if you need just like three really good standard eye brushes, get this set and you'll be good to go. It's amazing. The next product isn't like super exciting, but it's definitely necessary. And I got onto this product because of Emily Noel and you know, I'm sure you guys could all guess what it is, but it's the eyeshadow primer. Again, it's not the most like exciting, fun product, but it is really good. And I will tell you why, because one, it's not too greasy. I don't like a good, like greasy eyeshadow primer because then it just makes my eyeshadow crease more. And it's like, what's the point? Two, it's not overly sticky. And don't get me wrong. I love the CoverGirl like lid lock primer. Um, because it does have like a little bit of tackiness to it. And there's definitely like a place for that. If I want to do, you know, more like glitter looks or things like that. Um, and it's also not like too creamy to where if you use too much product, it's going to crease. Like the new Makeup Revolution Prime and Lock one, I love that. But if you use too much of that product because it's so creamy, it really will make your eyeshadow crease more. This you would need like, when I say like a tiny amount, I mean like, a tiny amount of this product for both of your eyes. So that's another reason I love this is because this will last you for like five ever. It will, it will go the distance. And so you, I mean, literally like, I'll show you how much I use for both eyes. Hold on. It's literally like, like that much. Can you guys even see? Yeah. Like that little dot. That is what I use for both of my eyes because it is like a thinner kind of consistency it spreads really well so you don't need to use a lot of product and it doesn't have like necessarily a huge tint to it so it's not going to like cancel out any veining or any discoloration but it does make your eyeshadow last really well and look really pretty so it's a win-win for me the next product is an eyeliner and I wore liquid eyeliner every day for years. I mean, when I'm, I mean years, like high school, college, 
Well, not so much. I mean, college, I, when I would go to class, I really wouldn't wear makeup. But if I was like going to work, like I was wearing make, like eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner was my jam. But then, I don't know, like in the last, I would say year, I was just not wearing it as much. It just wasn't something I wanted to take the time to do every day. I was spending more time on my eyeshadow. And so I just haven't been wearing it. But I still love a good wing, and today I am wearing it, and I just, I do love a good liquid line. It's just, I ugh, just, I love it so much. And so, long story short, I have tried a lot of liquid eyeliners in my life. This one is hands down my favorite. It has been my favorite since I tried it, and it's the Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Eyeliner. You want to talk about black and matte and long wearing? Hello, nice to meet you. This will last all day long it will stay black all day long it will not flake it will not smudge it will not smear and it stays just matte and good it's not like skippy or shiny and the um, applicator is more of like a felt tip but it's not like short and fat it's long enough to where you can get a pretty thin line if you want to but just as far as the formula goes on this there's just nothing that beats it I have tried a lot of liquid eyeliners like I was saying and this one is just I will never find one that is good as this. And that's like saying a lot. I mean, that's a big statement, but I don't think I will find one that is as good as this one in my mind, in my heart. Like this is just my liquid eyeliner for life. So when I did that original video for Milani Brands Best, I did talk about their um, Everyday Eye eyeshadow palettes. Love those so much. Probably like six months after I did that video, they released other palettes and these are like their $20 palettes. So you can find these on Ulta's website, I think in some Ulta stores now, um, Walmart stores, uh, Walgreens I think, you know, has them and stuff like that. At Walgreens and Ulta and on the Milani website, they're gonna run you 20 bucks. At Walmart, they will run you $14.97. So you can save some money there. Um, but they have four different ones and I particularly love three of them that I wanna talk about. So the one I have on today is in Bold Obsessions. I would say that this one is going to be the one that um, you should get if you just want like an all around palette. You know, you want some warms, you want some cools, you want some shimmers, you want some mattes. This one is going to be for you. Today I have on this gold shade all over the lid. It's like this really gorgeous kind of like sparkly metallic shade. Um, I have a little bit of this like warm brown in the crease with the matte brown. Um, I kind of went over my liner with the black just to soften the line a little bit. And then I highlighted with this shade right here. You get a lot of really good formulas in here. You get some more like I said, like that gold and this red are more um, like glittery shimmers where you get some more kind of muted shimmers some satin finishes and some mattes. It's just beautiful. And the shade range in this one is gorgeous. And you do get a pretty good size mirror in these palettes as well. And then another one I love is the Soft and Sultry. This is a gorgeous cool toned palette with still pulling some neutral because this row right here is not super cool toned. You know, you get a little bit of like warmth in there, especially with like this shade right here. But the middle row is definitely cool toned and then this row over here is more cool toned browns. But this is just gorgeous. It gives you that really soft romantic kind of eye that just looks absolutely stunning. And then the other one I love is Most Loved Mattes. So this one is an all matte palette um, and it you get just honestly three columns of just matte shades that are just different like kind of shade ranges. So this one is like all brown obviously, this one is more purple and then you get one that's like a little bit more like orangey rosy shades. This is a beautiful palette for just kind of accessorizing any shimmer in your collection. There's a lot of times where I will put a cream shadow all over the lid and then I'll just grab this palette, grab some mattes, put them in the crease and call it a day. Um, the Soft and Sultry, you do get mattes and shimmers in this one as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the formula on these is really nice. They're not overly um, like powdery and pigmented and all of that. Like you don't have to be super careful. There's not a ton of fallout. There is some fallout in the Bold Obsessions and the Soft and Sultry with some of the shimmers, but nothing that doesn't just like sweep away with a brush when you're done. But overall, I think for just palettes in general, but especially for the price, you cannot beat these. These are really high quality, really good. Um, I think they get a lot of hype for a reason. So I did just want to throw these out there if you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette, but you don't want to spend $40, $50, dollars 
these are amazing. The last category is lips and you guys I had a really hard time with this category because I love a lot of Milani lip products. I love their lipsticks. I love their matte lipsticks. Their new Amore satins are gorgeous. They're like a liquid lipstick but they don't feel overly dry. Even their liquid matte lipsticks I love because they're not overly dry. And their most natural lip liner like their wind up lip liner is honestly like my go-to nude lip liner. So I had a really hard time choosing a lip product um, because I just wanted to choose them all but I decided to pick this one because when I don't want to think about a lip product or like I don't want to think about what I have to what I'm gonna wear or I just want like a really good color and a really good shine I go for these like these are my favorite lip product that Milani makes I love a lot of Milani lip products but these are my favorite so that's why they made it into this video and there are the Amore Shine Liquid Lip Colors. So my favorite shades are Enchanting, which is a more kind of like bright peachy look. And then um, Idol, which is what I have on today, which is like a really beautiful rosy pink. And then Charming is my favorite nude, like almost of all time, probably of all time. Because it's like not too pink, it's not too peach, it's not too dark, it's not too light. Like it is perfect and it goes with so many different looks you can do like cool toned eyes you can do warm eyes you can do bright eyes colorful like you can do so many things with this and I love it and the formula is so good because look at the color right like you get so much color you get so much shine but they don't feel goopy they don't feel thick they don't feel sticky they're so comfortable to wear they don't like slip and slide everywhere so you have to be like super careful with what shade you're wearing it's just beautiful formula, beautiful color payoff, beautiful shine. I absolutely just adore those. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I felt like I was kind of rambly in some of it, but like, I just get so excited about like products that I love, especially when they're like inexpensive. It just makes my life so happy. So, and I'm like kind of feeling better eventually, like now, and like I'm back to filming, and I just feel like I'm like back in the groove, and I'm like loving my life right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye!